Hello everyone, this is Arohi and welcome to my channel. So guys, this is the second video of Jetson Nano playlist. So in our previous video, we have learned how to flash NVIDIA's Jetson Nano development kit image to a SD card. And then we use that SD card in that Jetson Nano and we boot our Jetson Nano for the very first time. And for this step, we have used HDMI screen, USB mouse and keyboard and a network connection and we have used an Ethernet cable. So in my today's class, I'll teach you two things. First thing is how to set up a Wi-Fi on your Jetson Nano. And the second thing is how to use Jetson Nano headless. So Jetson Nano headless means that without uh, using a keyboard, mouse and HDMI screen on a Jetson Nano, we will access the Jetson Nano remotely. You only need to provide power supply and the network connection to your Jetson Nano. That's it. There is no need of keyboard, mouse and a screen. Okay, because what we are going to learn how to use Jetson Nano remotely, headlessly. Okay, so uh, th these are the two things which I'm going to show you today. So let's start with the Wi-Fi connection, like how to set up your Wi-Fi on Jetson Nano. So guys, for that, I'm using this um, uh, Wi-Fi USB adapter, right? So I have, I'm sharing the link uh, with you. So this is the device which I'm using. Now, if you want to set up this Wi-Fi device on your Jetson Nano, then you need to install the required drivers for it. So for that, this is the link. So guys, I will share all the links in commands in my comment section so that you can follow along. And uh, this is the link which I'm following to do the setup of this Wi-Fi adapter on my Jetson Nano. Okay. So first thing is you need to update your PC, update your Jetson Nano. So open your Jetson Nano over here, open the terminal, just right click and click on open terminal. And here you have to, the commands which I'm showing you now, all those commands you have to execute here, right? So which is the first command? So the first command is to update your PC. Once you've done that, then you need to upgrade your PC. This will take some time, okay? And once you've done that, now we are here to install the drivers. So first you have to clone this GitHub repo. This GitHub repo is of our, this driver which we need. So clone this GitHub repo, then cd you to that folder. Now remember guys, all the next commands you have to uh, execute inside this folder only. This is a driver folder, okay? So cd to that folder. Now these are the steps you can see enter in front of every command. So you have to execute all these commands one by one okay all these commands you can see there are five or six commands okay once you execute all these commands one by one finally you need to reboot reboot your pc okay so you you can reboot your pc once you reboot your pc then let's go here and you have to write if config okay and enter now here you will see this WLAN okay so this is for your Wi-Fi and you will see a IP number IP address over here okay so guys uh, what you can do is just before installing this Wi-Fi you can do this IP config and you can you will see that there is nothing below this WLAN okay and if you're using a ethernet cable you let's suppose you're not using a um, wi-fi and before installing this uh, wi-fi you can check just scroll up and check below this eth0 this is for ethernet you will see the ip address over here but after installing the wi-fi you will also see uh, ip address under this Wi-Fi also okay WLAN 0 also so this means you have successfully installed your Wi-Fi device now guys this is the first thing the second thing is how to use Jetson Nano remotely okay so for that you need this IP address so guys if you have decided to work using uh, Wi-Fi then you will write down 
this IP address. Guys, you can write this IP address somewhere because we need this IP address in some time. Okay. So if you're using your Wi-Fi device, then you need this IP address. And if you're working on Ethernet, you will get your IP address under this. Okay. This. So just copy this uh, IP address. Right. So now we are going to start with our second task, which is how to use Jetson Nano remotely. So there are various ways you can use Jetson Nano remotely, but today I'm going to show you two different ways. Okay. One is using XRDP and the other method is VNC. Okay. So we'll start with the XRDP. So uh, when you want to uh, use this XRDP, you have to follow these commands. Let me show you those commands. So you can see the first command is to update your PC. Once you update your PC, then you need to install XRDP using this sudo apt install XRDP. So again, guys, I will mention all these commands in the comment section. You can directly copy these commands from there and you can um, execute on your Jetson Nano. Okay. And once you install X, uh, XRDP, after that, you will execute this command. Okay, let me copy and paste here one by one. So this is the next command. Okay, sudo system uh, ctl enable XRDP. What this command means is that whenever you reboot your uh, machine, so this command will, um, you know, uh, restart this XRDP after that also. Okay. Once you run these two command, just reboot your PC. Okay. Now you have XRDP on your Jetson Nano. Now what you need is open your Windows machine. Okay. Now where we are going, we are going to our another PC. This is my second PC from where I want to access the Jetson Nano. Okay. Here just write remote desktop connection here. Now you will get this kind of screen and here you need to write the IP address. So guys, remember uh, just a minute ago, I have told you to write down the IP address somewhere because we are going to use it. So that IP address you have to mention here. So in my case, that IP address is this. So I'm working through my Ethernet. So this is the IP address. So uh, over here, you need to write the username of your Jetson Nano machine. So what is the username of my Jetson Nano machine? Arohi. Okay. So I'm using that. Okay. So provide the username and after that click on this connect. Once you click on this connect, you will see your Jetson Nano screen over here on your Windows machine. So this is the first way, right? So now let's see. Now what we'll do is let's see the second way how to install uh, this VNC. Okay. So that is the second way. Let's do that. Okay. Give me a second. Now we want to install the VNC. Okay. So for that, this is the link I'm following. So I'll share this link in my comment section. You can follow along. And so you have to come to this section, remote desktop VNC. So one by one will follow the steps which they have mentioned here. Okay. So the first step is to edit this. Okay. So how we can edit this? Just copy this command from here and then put it in. Use this command over here in your terminal. Jetson Nano Terminal. Open Jetson Nano Terminal and paste that command here. Okay. Oh, sorry. This is the last command. Let me copy it again. So which is the command? So this is the command. Just copy it from here and then you have to place it here and then execute it. I'm not executing it because I have already done. So this will be your first command. After that, what is there? Once you execute this command, this file will open. You will get a XML file. In that XML file, you need just copy this content from here and paste it there and after that save your xml file this is the first step next step is to compile it so for compiling it you need to paste this command in your terminal over here 
over here you need to paste that command and it will work after that guys update the desktop sharing settings okay so see this image this is my desktop sharing setting and over here you need to enable this allow other users to view desktop just uh, check mark okay and then allow other users to control your desktop you have to do these things and these are the other two things Th this you have to perform once you done that now you have to open the startup application preferences panel okay from where you can open it just copy it from here go to your jetson nano click on this activities and here paste this startup application you'll get this click on it and you will get this kind of screen so this one this this is what you need to do i have already done so what you can do is click on this ad when you click on this ad you'll get this kind of screen here name and command okay so in name you have to write this we know okay in name you will write this and in command in command okay and in command you will write this over here you will write we know and over this you will write and then click on add okay so this is the next step so i have already done that step over here so i'm not repeating it once you done that what you need to do is you need to disable the encryption by writing these two commands just op copy these commands from here and open your terminal okay just to give me a minute sign guys so let's close it first and on your terminal you need to paste those two commands one by one place it enter and after that you will write the second command over there and then enter okay these are the steps to install vino on this vnc on uh, your jetson nano okay for the first time you need to install all these steps after that you will reboot now this vnc is installed on your um, jetson nano machine now what is the next step we want to access jetson nano remotely on our windows machine or a linux machine so i'm accessing on a windows machine so i'm showing you the process for that okay so now next thing is you need a vnc viewer on your windows machine using this vnc viewer we can access our um, jetson nano remotely okay so for that just write vnc viewer windows and click on this first link and you will download the window uh, this vnc viewer for your operating system so in my case it is windows so i have downloaded it installed it and after that let's open this vnc viewer okay so this is my vnc viewer and here you need to write the ip address remember the ip address which you got after doing this if if config so you need to mention that ip address over here so in my case that ip address is already there so i've clicked on it so now we are opening uh jetson nano using a vnc player so guys this is how you can use jetson nano remotely Okay, so I hope this video is helpful. Thank you for watching.